Tomorrow's update will feature the very first version of resting experience added to RuneScape. Let's talk about it, so whenever you're ready, grab your cup of tea, sit back, relax, and enjoy. Over 60% of my viewers aren't subscribed, and as I'm closing in on that big 100,000 subscriber milestone, I'd like to remind you to subscribe. Let's move on. For those who have been living under a rock, Fort Varane 3 new foundations and a brand new update releasing tomorrow on the 13th of February that will add a couple of things including rested experience, also known as offline experience once you've built the town hall building. The town hall will do this in the form of points, with each point being equal to 1% of a small fallen star, which is a commonly obtained bonus experience item that scales with your level. Regardless of your town hall tier, you will gain 1 point per 15 minutes of consecutive time spent offline or logged out. Hopping worlds obviously will not count towards the timer as it's far too short. Now while it doesn't seem like much, Gaining 1% of that small fallen star every 50 minutes spent offline is definitely helpful. At level 99, this is the equivalent of getting 426 bonus experience per hour or about 10,220 bonus experience per day. While your offline points gained do not scale with your town hall tier, your cap of small fallen stars do from 5 to 10 to eventually 15 at tier 3. This means you'll hit your cap of bonus experience in around 5.2 days at tier 1, 10.4 days at tier 2, and 15.6 days at tier 3. The total amount of bonus experience you can gain at level 99 by going on holidays so to speak, including players who've received a two week vacation from Jagex, <coughs> would be 51,000 experience at tier 1, 102,000 experience at tier 2, and 153,000 experience at tier 3. Exact numbers being on screen now. I believe this amount of bonus experience is just the right amount to make it so that you don't feel like you're completely wasting your time if you were to go on holiday or not be able to play. The opposite of fear of missing out, if you will. You could argue that this will make you log in at least every so often, and I suppose that is true, but it's a good change either way. The reason I believe they added a cap to this is to stop returning players from having millions of experience just sitting there as soon as they return to the game. Either way, it's a nice addition to the game simply because of that FOMO feeling being very real, whether you want to accept it or not, especially because we have so many powerful dailies. Perhaps they'll add content with similar systems or upgrades to this system in the future. Who knows? Now, while progressing a little bit by being offline is nice, actually playing the game will always be better, of course. That includes the fort itself. By scaling inside the fort, you'll be able to gain 5 to 15 times as many points per hour or day. How? Well, you gain 1, 2, or 3 points depending on the tier of your town hall per 3 minutes. This means that scaling inside the fort will net you roughly the following experience rates depending on your tier and skill level. It's also worth noting that you will reach the cap after 25 hours of skilling in total inside the fort, no matter what your tier is as the amount of points skill linearly with the cap of total stars you can gain. Now these experience rates may not seem like much, but that is still far more than you'd ever be gaining inside the Lumbridge market on World 84. It's safe to assume that portable hosters will simply migrate to the fort to do their skilling instead. To clear up any confusion, this fort is not an instance area, but instead a public one like the PVM hub. Now there are multiple banks inside Fort Farinfree, and as you might have seen, there are two banks fit for portables if you watched my previous video I made for the official RuneScape channel. One is an NPC in the center, and the other is the bank inside the workshop. Since the first tier of the town hall doesn't have high requirements, being 10 construction, I think it's safe to assume that this will be the skilling hub of RuneScape, so to speak, purely from an efficiency standpoint. And I think this is really cool, because a skilling hub is something I know players have asked for in the past. It's something I wanted to see as well. One thing I do hope to see left back in Lumbridge are the conversations in those portable worlds. I mean, the stuff you read in the chat there is just something else. It just really is. The fort will also have a lodestone which can get you where you need to be without too much running, which I believe can be built straight after the mini quest tutorial. If that still isn't enough for you, you can use the newly converted Lumberyard teleports to teleport straight to the center of the fort. Not sure how useful those will be, but it will bring you to the skilling spots a handful of seconds faster. So, a rested experience and a new skilling hub. I'm really positive, but what do you think of the fort so far? Let me know down in the comments below. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.